Tulsa and Cincinnati. One of these teams will advance. Three on three situation. Oh, oh. good ball. Rather I'm on side. Inside the 18. Plays it back to her left boot. Slips it home. Danielle Rotherham, her ninth goal of her senior campaign. What a goal from Rotherham, the ball on her boot. The defender there cut it back, had the goalkeeper beat. You can see right here, able to bring it past Krennic and nothing McKeon could do. That one slotted to the near post. Kick coming up, 10 seconds to take it. Creason will do the honors. Base of the goal, looking for a header. Time expires. Tulsa is so close to possibly pulling even. But it's the goal from Danielle Rotherham. The ninth on the year for the senior, looking to extend her career as a Bearcat. Golden Hurricane looking to stay on side. Left-footed slot, cross, and off the post. Oh, the hardware cheering on the Bearcats here today. That was the opportunity, but the post coming to the aid that time of Pavlika. You take a look there. Two Golden Hurricanes, neither able to knock it in. Inside of 20. Left-footed delivery. Insurance on the board for the Bearcats. 2-0. What a shot. What a goal. What a strike. A piece of brilliance turning nothing McKeon could do as the sophomore just watches that into the back of her net. J.C. Brown does it again, her second goal of the year against Tulsa. Brown had an opportunity like this in the first half, was unable to put it on goal, but... This was brilliant in her minutes. Ball over the top, Bearcats back line, the first to it. Hurricanes looking to pull one back, cross far post, and that cross ultimately denied on the back end by the sliding keeper, Pavlika. Well done. Final countdown. First of four matches complete here in Dallas at the American Women's Soccer Championship. After being knocked out in last year's quarterfinals, the Bearcats move on to the semifinals. We'll have that matchup later on this week right here on the American Digital Network. Still three more matches to come tonight. Bearcats with two goals, Rotherham in the first half, able to connect. Insurance would later come from teammate J.C. Brown with her second score against Tulsa this year. Here post-match with the winning coach, Neil Stafford, your coach, or your side with a 2-0 victory in your quarterfinal matchup. You move on to the semifinals. Talk to us a little bit about this, especially the defensive performance today. Yeah, I mean, we've been rock solid all year defensively. Uh, I think we hold the most shutouts in the conference, and have a pretty darn good uh, goals against average too. So I'm just super proud of, of the team performance today. Uh, you know, Tulsa's a good side. Kyle's such a, a, a good coach and he's a uh, real professional. Um, so I tip my hat to Tulsa. Um, but I'm just so proud of the effort. Um, I, again, I just, I, I'm at, kind of at a loss for words just because so many kids have stepped up for us and that's what you need uh, is a relentless grind mentality and we got that today. Well, somebody who stepped up for you all year, the young lady next to us right now, Daniel Rotherham, you had the opener, a fantastic afternoon offensively. Talk to us a little bit about this game and how you saw it playing out. Um, well, it felt amazing to get the W today, especially because this would have been my last collegiate game since I'm a senior. And I just, the family, we came together as a family and we grinded it out every minute and we just made it happen. Well, congratulations on the victory and best of luck in the semis.